What is up everybody, Jimmy Mahalik here. Welcome back. Today we're gonna to be talking about how to do product research with Google Trends. And Google Trends is a way to do product research for your Amazon FBA business or for even your Shopify business. And the best thing of all is it's a free tool. A lot of people are looking for free tools or a tool to supplement a tool they're already using. So with that being said, let's jump right over to the computer and I'm gonna show you how to use it. Okay, so we're on Google Trends here, and you just go to trends.google.com, and they have so much information just here on the homepage. So Game of Thrones just aired, and you can see here the trend of Google of uh, Game of Thrones, and look at all this information here that they show just on the homepage. And the next thing I'm gonna show you is year in trends. So this is up here, you can go to year and trends and it goes to, you know, obviously we wanna look at the most recent year, which is 2018. And you can find a lot of products just searching this way. So for example, when I go to this page, the first thing that jumps out on me, and again, they have all these different categories that you can see here. Um, but up here, we're gonna look at this beauty category. So how to apply magnetic lashes. What is a lash lift? how to remove individual eyelashes. So all these things look super interesting for products because I don't even know what these products are, but they're trending and they were one of the top searches uh, of the year for beauty. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go over to Amazon Magnetic Lashes and Lash Lift. So we're gonna type those in and I've already done that to save some time. So Magnetic Lashes here on Amazon you know, it's such an interesting, yeah, I'm a guy, I don't know anything about this, but just type that into Amazon and you wanna use either your Jungle Scout uh, extension or Helium 10 uh, Chrome extension. So either one you have, I actually use both because I like to check the numbers uh, on both t if I'm really like inter into a product because it shows me, you know, both their numbers and sometimes they're a little different. So it's good to double check here. So, but magnetic lashes here, I mean, look, these guys on the front page are all making 10 to $20,000 and this revenue is per month, okay, every 30 days. And like, look at the reviews here. So the first couple are in the hundreds. But then we start to get down to 88, 80, 11, 24, 0, 10. Uh, this guy, he's got 10 reviews. He's making $10,000 a month. This guy has zero reviews. He's making $4,000 a month. Now it is, that makes sense to me because a lot of people don't buy products with zero reviews. Now everybody starts that way, but you have to get reviews as fast as possible, but still stay within the review limit. I have a video on reviews. If you haven't seen it, uh, it goes over all that stuff. Watch it. Um, but I mean, this, I mean, it just looks like a super interesting product because there's a lot of products on here with under a hundred reviews or low reviews and they're making 10,000, 7,000, 9,000. And you know, this could be a potential product that we found just from Google Trends. So the other one was a lash lift. So when I just go in Amazon and I type in lash you know, Lash Lift Kit was one of the top searches and Lash Lift. So I've already typed in Lash Lift Kit here. And again, so this time we'll pull up the Helium 10 product research um, Chrome extension. Okay, so here we are uh, with Lash Lift Kit with the X-Ray from Helium 10 Chrome tool. And you can see the revenue here. And let me scroll over to the reviews. So I mean, Revenue 14,000, 28,000, 44,000, 5,000 with only five reviews, and they only have a three star rating. So, um, you know, a, a lot of these have just over a hundred, but when you scroll down here, you can see that a lot of new products are getting onto page one. I mean, they only have six reviews here, and they're making nine thousand dollars a month. 15 reviews here making $7,000 a month, 20 reviews making $33,000 a month. So this looks like a very interesting product. The average price is $23, which is pretty good. I suggest 20 to $25 being the lowest you would sell on Amazon FBA because of the Amazon FBA fees. Um, and it shows you your Amazon FBA fees right here. So $7 here on a $25 product, that leaves a lot of room for profit. So again, this is a very interesting product that we found via Google Trends. So the next thing we wanna do is we wanna type in a term that is 
um, seasonal. So I typed in swimsuit and a lot of times you might be looking into a product and you might not think about it at first, but it might be seasonal. So how do you do that? Type that, tr that search term into Google Trends and it will show you a graph. So the graph is based on, and I'll click this right here, 100 is the highest amount of searches that it ever gets and the bottom zero is the lowest. So it shows you kind of like the peaks and valleys of when people are searching for it. And you can see swimsuit here, people are searching for it in early summer and actually even kind of spring, okay? And you can also, this is a 12 month graph, you can also change it to a yearly graph and this will show you the past five years of the searches. And there you can see how this is a very seasonal product. Now it's a swimsuit, but this is just for example. You can see it's very, very seasonal. So if you were to sell something like this that maybe wasn't as competitive, you'd wanna get all your inventory in before, you know, before this big trend starts. So February, you'd wanna get your inventory in maybe like January, um, two months before, and kind of let it sell close to out you know, as the season ends. Now, if it's FBA, you don't wanna close your listing afterwards. You still wanna keep a few pieces in inventory, even in the in the uh, off season, but just a few so you're not paying a lot of storage, okay? But you wanna keep your listing open so you don't get hijackers and stuff like that. So, and down here you can see interest by region. You can see related queries. So this will give you some examples of, um, you know, particular products in that niche. So, you know, with that being said, outdoor was another interesting search that I was looking at. And so let me go back here and I'll show you one more interesting thing here. So this is for swimsuit past five years. The other thing you can do is you can change it to Google Shopping. So instead of just the um, Google search, you can change it to Google Shopping and it'll show you the interest on the shopping there also. So let's go back to this next search, which is outdoor. And we can change it to five years and you can kind of see how, you know, it's very um, seasonal. So this is what a seasonal products looks like. So now you know, you know, if your products has peaks and valleys like this, it might be seasonal and you might not even know it. So when we're down here to related queries, this is where you can find some products that for whatever search term you're, you're typing in, you might be able to find some products that might be interest, you might be interested in selling. So best outdoor security cameras. So outdoor security cameras can be something there. Bluetooth outdoor speakers, outdoor porch bed, outdoor rug. So I thought outdoor rug was very interesting. So I went over to Amazon and I just typed in outdoor rug. It was actually one of the top suggested searches. And this was actually kind of crazy. So look at the sales here. Look at the revenue, $200,000 a month, $100,000 a month, $78,000 a month. I mean, look at this guy. He's making $133,000 a month with only 60 reviews. 60 reviews, you can get that in five or six months time, you know, if you're actively seeking reviews. So look at this guy, he's making $18,000 a month with only 17 reviews. I mean, here's a sponsored listing, 10 reviews, making 8,000, uh, that's actually BSR, 10 reviews, making $23,000 a month right there. I mean, that's with only 10 reviews. I mean, you can get 10 reviews in two months. You know, he's making $23,000 a month. But remember that, this is seasonal, so outdoor, you know, and you can even type in outdoor rug here. I actually think I have it here on this on this right here. So you can see people are searching for this. Um, you know, this isn't super seasonal, but as you can see in December and stuff, not many people are searching for it, but they are kind of searching for it for like a good like six months out of the year. And then the, the winter time seems to be the low six months out of the year. So you would wanna have a lot of inventory that you would, get into Amazon FBA at the beginning. And then as the winter comes, you know, let your inventory sell out and don't restock again. Maybe have just a few units in stock because you'll still get some sales and you don't want to run out of stock with Amazon. And then just restock it again before the trend hits, which is in say March or April. So another thing I was searching outdoor and this, this is another method you can do. This is just kind of for free. 
So type in outdoor and you're gonna see all these suggested searches. So I have this little keyword plugin here. It's called Keywords Everywhere. It's a Google Chrome um, tool that you can add. Just Google Keywords Everywhere, Google Chrome extension. You'll get it, it's free. You set that up and it shows you keywords here when you're searching. So another interesting one that I was looking for was outdoor games. And same thing is you can, again, we did all this for free with no you know, actual product research software. So, and then we can bring up the X-Ray Helium 10 uh, Chrome extension, which is, a, it has free use. And then uh, there's a certain amount of uses you can use it where it's not free anymore but it will show you the revenue. Um, now, this is early April, so um, a lot of these outdoor things haven't really like populated yet because people are just starting to buy this stuff for summer. Um, but you can kind of gauge the competition here. You can see, I mean, a couple of these products make it $272,000 a month. Uh, another one here is making $50,000 a month. And let me scroll over to the reviews. So now this is a broad search term, outdoor games. So what you would wanna do is if you were looking and you found a category like this, is drill down to find a specific product. So one that looked interesting to me was down here, was this right here. So this guy made the first page for this broad specific term and he only has three reviews and it's $27.99. It is a potato sack race bags. So again, just type that into Amazon and you're gonna see all these products here. And this looked like a very interesting product to me to sell, but remember again, is it's seasonal. So what a lot of sellers do is they'll sell seasonal products, they'll have summer products, and then they'll have winter products. So they do end up selling the whole year round but the way the seasonal products work is, you know, if you had a year round product that sells say $10,000 a month, your seasonal products might sell 30 or $40,000 a month in like a quick three or four month time span. So you get huge sales, but it's only for three or four months out of the year, but it can actually add up to the same amount that a $10,000 a month product would make for, for 12 months. So, and then, you know, they'll kind of sell out most of their inventory. And then when winter comes, they might have winter products that they sell. So they're still selling all year round, but they're kind of like, you know, moving inventory in and out as the seasonal products come. So, I mean, this is a great niche right here. So look at this. I mean, $30,000 a month with seven reviews. And again, remember it's April here. This, this is just starting to sell and it's ma already making $30,000 a month. So this will probably pick up for several months. I mean, this is, look at this, $33,000 a month with 11 reviews. I mean, zero reviews making $3,000 a month. I mean, zero reviews, nothing sells well at zero, zero reviews. And they're already doing, you know, on the, the decent end. I mean, so look at this. I mean, this is all from free product research that was through Google Trends. And we found a product in five or 10 minutes. And I mean, low reviews and high revenue. So I mean, if you can go and source something like this from Alibaba, maybe have a multi-pack or make something slightly different that people might be interested in, this is a perfect way to find products uh, for free. So yeah, Google Trends, trends.google, make sure you check it out. So also make sure you're subscribed, you've hit the bell icon and leave a comment below. In the next video, I will be announcing a winner for a free 15 minute call with me and I can help you with your business for whatever you wanna talk about, product research, or if you're having issues, you know, leave a comment below and you'll be entered into that. Watch the next video and at the end of it, I will announce a winner and I will see you in the next video.